on my back deck at home here to continue our First Timothy 2 daily prayer sessions for our top government officials in Washington, D.C. and extending to the states. We're praying for the state delegations and state governments in alphabetical order. I've taken a little hiatus, but we're back now, beginning with the state of Oklahoma. And if you don't have a prayer directory, I'm using my cheat sheets today. I don't have mine. Shame on me. But you can get yours. It's a full-color directory of all of our top government officials. And we publish that at Faith and Action. You can get a hold of it by writing me at info, I-N-F-O, at faithandaction.org. And then you can follow along with me and actually look at the faces of these public officials for whom we're praying today, starting with the state of Oklahoma, please join me in prayer. Holy God, today we pray for the people and the state government of Oklahoma, who uh, is uh, represented today by Governor Brad Henry in the executive branch. We pray also for the legislators of Oklahoma and the judiciary, the state Supreme Court and state courts of Oklahoma. We pray, Lord, for the federal congressional delegation beginning with Senators James Inhofe and Tom Coburn, their families, their staff members and advisors. We pray, Lord, for House members, Representatives John Sullivan, Dan Boren, Frank Lucas, Tom Cole, and Mary Phelan. We ask, Lord, that you would help them with their staff, and with their advisors, of course, Lord, with their family members as well, to know and discern your will and to obey it. And when they do not, Lord, we pray that you would lovingly correct them, chasten them if necessary, even replace them if that is your will. But for this moment, Lord, we lift up these individuals and pray you will help them to make the best decisions in their capacities for the people they serve, for our nation, and indeed for our influence in the world. We pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen.